So I'm afraid that this isn't going to be one of my normal humor-driven videos that you've watched in the past. Every now and then I like to take a minute and just talk about something serious, kind of like my Nintendo video. All this business going on with Amanda Todd and suicide and everything really isn't anything new to anybody. I'm going to try to keep this as short as humanly possible. Suicide is a shitty thing. It really is. But are we partially to blame for it? I don't mean people like that commit suicide. Those, it is, they are the people that are committing suicide. It is their decision to commit suicide. It's the same as saying suicide's not an option. Of course suicide's an option. Homicide's an option too. So is drugs, so is sex, so is anything else that people use to cope with their lives. Those are all options. So to say suicide isn't an option, to say that a drug user is, it's their fault, but someone who's a victim of suicide, it isn't their fault. See, that even what I just said, a victim of suicide versus a drug abuser. So you've got abuser and you've got victim. Really? It's your decision. That is a coping mechanism for people. One of them is drastically more uh, fatal, obviously, than the other, but... That's where the line kind of gets hazy, and that's where things kind of get a little screwed up. I've been depressed in my life. You've been depressed in your life. A lot of people have been depressed, and I think most everyone has contemplated the option of suicide in their life. Um, whether you weigh out the risks versus the rewards of it, you know, if there are any. And, uh, you know, you, everyone's thought of it. It's just one of those things everyone thinks about to some degree. What would it be like to take my own life? Would that make anything better? You got some people that think, okay, you know, I'm, uh, if I commit suicide, I'm going to destroy the life, the lives of everyone that loves me. My family, my friends, you know, everyone has some degree of family and friends. Don't say they don't. And uh, <clears throat> is it worth that? A lot of people, most I think, say, hell no, it's not. I'm stronger than that. I'm going to keep going on. Then other people think to themselves, who cares? I mean, really, nobody cares about me. I need to do this. This is my suffering, and my suffering is the most important thing in my life right now. Which is understandable because it's in your life. It's your suffering in your life. So it's the most important thing in your life. Well, maybe you make it that way. Reaching out... And, and making videos like Amanda Todd made, that's reaching out. That is looking for attention. And I don't mean, oh, she's being an attention whore. I mean that she's looking for attention. She's looking for someone to reach out and relate to her through that video. She's looking for some form of sympathy and pity. And that's what a lot of people look for. And I'm not going to bash anyone for that because people like to know that people care. That's a huge thing for a lot of people. I get that. But are we really making suicide more worth it with the way that we're acting? You know, this girl, you know, anybody would want to be mentioned and thought of by celebrities and stuff like that. A lot of people, anyway, would really like that kind of thing to be noticed, to be known, and to be loved, and to be called beautiful, and to be accepted. So what do we give to people who have committed suicide? All those things. Someone, a teenager commits suicide like Amanda Todd, and all of a sudden, celebrities are talking about her. Everyone's saying, oh my god, she's so beautiful, so nice, I would have loved to have been her friend. But who did that when she was alive? So, what we do as society, and I hate to use that word because it's just like, oh, society's the problem, society, society. I really hate when people just scream about society, but I've got to do it. The problem with it is that we make suicide enticing. We say that you're here in your life, you kill yourself, and we are going to give you exactly what you are looking for. Love, acceptance, compliments, the whole kit and caboodle is all yours. All you have to do is kill yourself. Why can't we make suicide seem like more of a bad thing? I mean, so people dance around it so much. They're like, oh, you know, don't let's not talk about that. You know, let's not talk about our issues. Let's not talk about, you know, uh, like parents. They won't sit there and say, you know, let me sit down with my kid and talk 
to, and tell them that suicide, yes, it is an option, and it's not an option you should choose, because never is it worth it. Because we, as your parents, love you so much that it would destroy us, even. It would destroy your friends. And we love you. You are the most important thing in our lives. Why can't... Do parents not do that? I mean, I'm not a parent myself, but I can damn well tell you, when I have kids, everyone's like, oh shit, he's going to have kids. When I have kids, I'm going to sit down and talk with them about the reality of suicide. We can talk about drugs, we can talk about sex, but we can't talk about suicide? I mean, that's something people do. So, and it's life-threatening, isn't it? So, why not talk about it? It's the same shit with, like, school shootings. Kids depressed, kids upset. Nobody pays any attention to the kid. Everyone goes, oh my god, he's just a little psycho. That's all he is. And then all of a sudden, when he decides to shoot up the school, that's when everyone's like, oh my god. That, you know, wow, I we knew something was wrong, but we didn't think it'd go this far. Do something about it. When you see the problem, do it. The problem with this country, and with a lot of other countries in the world, is we are an after-the-fact kind of society. We work to prevent crime after the crime's been committed. We give people love and attention and affection after they've killed themselves. We make school a much safer place for our kids after somebody brought a bomb in and blew up half the fucking kids. It's ridiculous to me that nobody can take steps because everyone's just too afraid to go against the flow. The natural, not even natural, it's the bullshit, organized, established flow that keep in line, shut your mouth, don't say anything, people are nuts, people are scary, people are shitty, nobody talk to anybody else because you can't trust anyone or blah 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 blah. Nobody will reach out to anyone. Nobody. Don't talk to him because I won't be your friend anymore because that kid's lame. It's ridiculousness. It really is. It's, uh, it's complete bullshit. It's just, and then everyone sits there and, and after the fact, and they try to glorify it. Suicide is shit. I get it. Hundreds of millions of people are dying all over the world, starving to death. I totally get it. And that's human nature is to, you know, not care as much as about people that you don't know personally, especially if you'll probably never know them personally. There's no even chance in hell you're probably going to meet any of these people. So that's why people tend to not care as much. It sucks that somebody has to resort to killing themselves in order to essentially end their suffering. But life is full of suffering. You need to establish that. That's what... When, if you've watched my Nintendo video, that's what I'm talking about when this mother catered to her kid because her kid didn't have a father, so she had the whole school shut down father-daughter dances and mother-son dances because her daughter didn't have a father or any male figure to go with. That's the type of shit. You're setting your kid up, sitting there and telling your kid that happiness is yours. You are entitled to everything. So when they get out in the real world and then they see that it's not theirs to take and people will shit on them and the real world comes at different times for different people. You can be 16 when the real world hits you and you're like, holy crap, I don't have to be treated fairly. No, you don't have to be treated fairly. What year are you living in exactly? Tell your kid that life isn't fair from the get-go. Some kids qualify for things other kids aren't going to qualify for. That's just the way it works. That's the world we live in. Stop trying to make it into unicorns farting rainbows on fairies who take showers under the fern gullies and shit like that. I, I mean, really, come on. The world isn't about that shit. How long have you lived in it? Even as a parent, you should know. Life isn't fair. I know I'm not a parent. I'll say it again. But seriously, I mean, I've talked to friends about this kind of shit. The world isn't fair. Nobody promised it was going to be fair. Nobody said God himself in the Bible said life is going to suck. I mean, really, what do you, what do you think is going on here? It's ridiculousness. It really is. We need to stop giving suicide exactly what these people are looking for through it. Love, attention, friends, kind words, all these compliments and everything. If you notice a problem, don't be one of the shitbags that ignores it because that's what you're told to do. You're, try, you're, you're taught to condition yourself. Don't feel anything you don't want to feel. Always be comfortable. You know, don't ever be uncomfortable ever in your life, ever. 
So don't put yourself in a situation where you might feel uncomfortable like talking to someone who's depressed. Like trying to be a friend to somebody despite the fact that your asshole little friends like the three hyenas from The Lion King are laughing and shitting on everybody. Don't step out of that. Please, by all means, don't be a friend to someone who has no friends. Because that's, I mean, that's just... Phew. Back in high school, which seemed like an incredibly long time ago, I tried to be friends with as many groups of people as I possibly could. Luckily, I didn't um, contribute to anyone's suicide. Uh, that's nice, but, um, yeah, there were times I fell into the trap and everything like that, and you're like, I'm not gonna talk, I'm freaking weird. Guys, seriously, if you see somebody getting pushed around or something, stand up for that freaking person. Stop treating people like shit, and stop using the freaking internet as a way to be a tough guy. I did stupid shit when I was in high school, and people made fun of me for it, but I realized that, you know, committing suicide would probably be, a uh, uh, uh option that would hurt hurt more people in the long run and why the hell would I want to be remembered for hurting people because that's overall what everyone remembers you for they remember you for killing yourself not for the beauty that they all say but that's the reward you immediately get the instant gratification everyone wants I want to be called beautiful boom now I'm beautiful but nobody actually thinks it overall people knew you were weak and they pity you and you may think you want pity, but you don't. Real pity is not something you want because real pity doesn't help anyone. Sympathy, you know, um, being able to relate is different, but you don't want real pity. No, nobody does because pity doesn't do shit.